reference, either the live plant, uh, a live plant or cactus. I have this one here, which is not alive. This is an artificial one, but it looks quite good. Or you can have a photographic reference and I will definitely connect to the presentation um, a photograph of my cactus. Now, uh, what else do you need? We will try to work with pencil crayons, um, pastels. We have chalk pastels here. In case, just in case, I placed a couple of markers, Sharpies here, pencil, crayon, uh, pencil uh, eraser, and of course, paper. So I'm placing my objects on the, uh, my materials on the side. I will also place my, um, flower, my plant here on the side. You can't see it, but like I said, you will have it as a reference as a reference image attached to my presentation. So here I have the paper. It uh, can be a regular printer paper. It could be also medium heavy white piece of paper. With the pencil, I want to draw and I want to draw. Um, maybe I just place the vase. Oh no, actually I will, what will create, I create the ground here, you see. So very lightly drawn line here of the ground in which the uh, from which the plant will grow. So now what I want to have, I want to have one big elongated part. It's like a stem. Should I say stem? Probably not. Okay. So this is the one part here. And then I have some additional here coming on the side. So this one coming here, right? This part here. Notice what I do here. I round it. Don't forget about it. Don't make a flat vertical line. Round it a little bit. Okay, now I place another one a little bit lower here and I will make it so that this part, similar to this one here, will come behind this big, big, I will call it a trunk. <laughs> okay, so it's coming here and it's a little bit heavier on the top. So there are different kinds of, um, kinds of uh, cactus, cactuses. I just chose the one that I have at home as an artificial plant. Okay, so here another one in the back. You see, this one is in the front. This one is in the back. This one will be in the back as well. You see, I'm placing it here. I make it a little bit bigger here on the top. Okay, nice composition. Now, from there, what I want to have, I want to have those shafts, like you see, coming here one, here. Then I would like to have another one coming maybe here on the side. You see what I'm doing here? Just indicating that it's not a perfect flat surface. This is going behind. This is coming above. Then I will have another one coming here and I will make something like this. You see, like here, like this. This is okay. And this part will come here like this. Okay. So I have those different parts. Now with those parts here, I don't need to do anything. Maybe I just round it a little bit more like this. So you remember those shafts, they are coming like this, like this, like this, flat, Maybe we'll place this one here a little bit more like this and like this. Okay. Now from there, I want to have those beautiful flowers that I have here. And those flowers will look like this. One, two pattern, three pattern, maybe another one here and another one here. Okay. So this is in flowering, my beautiful cactus. Okay. Here I have the other set. One, two, three. Remember they go around like this around ellipsa and then maybe another one visible here okay if i wanted this one th th that i can see the center what i will do i will just shorten this pattern notice this shorten and then i make those a little bit longer in the back so i can see the center part here okay like this okay and then another one here maybe just leave it the way it is now what i want to see i want to see some of the needles coming here so you see make a couple of dots like i'm doing them here now and then i'm going one two even three one two three okay i will put one on the side one two three okay now maybe this one here one two three notice that i changed the direction of those lines right so you see this is good now in those parts coming forward, you see, I'm applying a couple of dots and then I'm making my one, two, three dots, one, two, three lines, sorry. This one will come on the side. This one will come above like this, you see, so not following the same direction. See, that looks good. Now, what I want to have, I want to have another one here on the side. 
maybe another one here, one, two, three. And I want to have another one here, la, la, la. Another one here, one, two, three. You can also use just two, will be okay. Okay, oh, this is behind, so I have to cover it here. <laughs> I have forgotten, that's not good. You see, sometimes Madame OK gets me cuts up a little bit. Okay, so here we are. I will place another one here. Maybe another one here, just to help us to see better what's going on. La, 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 la. And this one here, we definitely need one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, we place another one here. One, two, three. Good. And maybe here, one, two, three. Fantastic. So you see, we have the ground, we have our cactus here, the plant, and now we can decide what we want to do. We can go with the marker. I really like to use markers sometimes, but you don't necessarily have to. That's up to you. I just want to make those stronger, those needles here. Like you see, I really repeat them because remember, with the chalk pasta, it will be impossible, right? So here I always make this dot. It's super important that you really pronounce. This is like it seems to be in the back, but this dot has to be really pronounced. One here, another one will be here, right? Here, ha ha. We go one, two, three. See, one, two, three. Here, one, two, three. One, two, three. I'm changing even the direction while working on, on my cactus um, because I can. You see, if I decide that I like to change something, I certainly can do it, okay? So you see, voila, lots, lots of lots of needles here now. And if you want to, you can even come with the marker inside and make it. So if I want to have it, or just leave the pencil marks a little bit stronger. I can use the skinnier marker here. Um, and then what I will be doing here, you see, I'm going here one, because I know already where those lines should be, right? So you see, I'm going here like this and like this. The line doesn't need to continue evenly. It could be a broken line for sure. You see here, I'm just repeating some of them. And this marker is skinnier. This is the ultra fine. Again, you can simply use the pencil, just press it a little bit harder and you will see those lines. And I think those lines are necessary to keep a little bit stronger because they help us to see everything better, right? So you see, this is one flower. We'll have the other one here. Right, so we simply define more the shape, right? It's very clear what it rep what those shapes represent. And even the ground, you see, I'm going here. Good. We can also put, let's see, like a stone here, a pebble here, maybe another one here. Maybe we'll place even one and another in the second grass here, right behind. Maybe we'll do the same here. Oh, there's not very much grass, but that's what we will have. If you want to have a sun, you can place the sun here on the side. I think that that can look really nice here if you want to, okay? Now, from there, we want to start working with the colors. So I certainly want to apply with pastel, I want to apply the blue color of the sky. And I will show you a small trick that I want to use here. So first, again, I'm going carefully around here. Remember, we can use paper towel and I have a small piece here to clean up my hands as well as move better the the pastel look more precise and I will show you again in the second what we will be doing here. You see, I'm going here. Then I'm moving to this side here, right? I'm moving with my pastel around. You see, even with the grass, I'm not so worried if I come on the top because if I have a grass as such, it does have a green color will have at least partially green brownish maybe color because it's very very hot there where we have cactus trees or cactus plants sorry um then even then we can still come on the top of the blue and make it looking greenish or brownish there will be no problem so you see how nice it looks wow i really start liking it very very much there where we have the marker lines there's no problem remember the the marker so it will stay and nothing will happen to it so here we have this fantastic plant already showing up and now because it's green i can use pastels and i have um this pastel this light green and i have the dark green right so you can decide you can start even with this pastel and notice i'm going on the entire body right i'm cleaning up a little bit my hand See, and then I'm going with this color on the top of my beautiful, beautiful plant. 
see here, and I know it's in the back as well, so I'm applying it here. Eh, don't need to be just in the center, right? Then with the finger, um, you can move the pastel into the direction, into the shape that you want to cover, right? So here we are. Notice how good it's that's looking. I'm so excited about that. La la la. That looks so so good. Okay, here. Now. Uh, since we decided that we will have grass, kind of grass here, okay, here, you see, so we will have it there. Now, I don't want to have just one color here, so I will use on it, I can use blue, I can also use the darker, darker green, and I will decide that on this side, every second, I will make it just a little bit darker on the right side of the line, right? So you see here, a little bit darker. And I move it with my finger, but I don't want to go to the end necessary. You see, like this. Then I'm going every second, right? So I'm going here where I see the line. I'm going there and I make it darker again. You see here, and I'm going here because I have the line. You see, and I make it darker. What we get here, wow, we get volume. So that means that that's looking, our our plant that's looking 3D. Now, since I have a little bit dark on this side here, I also need to have it darker here. So you see, I start rounding it, giving the nice volume, right? So that means roundness, okay? And it should be darker a little bit here, right? So you see, I'm going here, boom, darker. Now, because this part is, the, is behind the main part of the cactus, I also want to make it a little bit darker here, you see? And darker on this side here, for sure, because the light is coming from this direction. So when the light is coming, the sun from here, that we have the sun over there, that means that this part should be lighter. And if I want to make it lighter, guys, I can also use yellow. Clean it up because it's really dirty on one side. You see, I can even apply more of yellow here. Just a touch, you see? Just a touch. Look how good it looks. I really like the effect, you see? Uh, and now, what about our grass? I said, it because it's such a hot climate, right? There we, we have the cactuses. Um, I think we want to bring some brown into them, right? Because the grass dries up so fast. So you see a little bit of brown? Ha, ha, ha. You see how good it looks? A little bit of it here too as well. It still looks like a grass, but it's a grass that dries up fast in the sun right good so now we have to find out what color do we use for the ground so we have a couple of options um you can use kind of orangey color and you should have it in your set pastel set if you don't have it use yellow it should be okay too you see so we use this color it looks like a we call it naples y naples yellow Okay, when you use oil paints, and I'm sure that many of you in the, it will decide in the future to be artists, right? So, look at this. Here we are, and if we want to have this, this earth to make it a little bit more brownisher, we can use this color here, or orange, right? You see, and I will bring a little bit more of the brown. Like I like the mixture of those colors, right? And remember, when you look at the earth, it's never one even color, right? So if you apply a color, make sure that you spread it differently, right? So in some places you see more yellow, in some places you see more brown, right? That looks more natural. Now we have to think about those pebbles. And I think those pebbles, I would use simply gray color. And I found it in the box. If you don't have it, you can use tiny bit of black, but spread it then, right? So that and maybe put white on it as well. This way you get gray color because gray color is a combination of white and black. Remember, always less black, more of the white. So now, because the light is coming from our left side, I want to make it darker on the side, on the right side, you see? So I'm putting a little bit of black and what I'm doing here, you see, right away I make it darker. Here, just on this side here. Now, I also want to have a shadow. The light comes from the left side so the shadow will come here, right? So you see, because I already have a ground, then I can make a shadow. And I also make the shadow here from the grass, right? You see how nice it will look? And the same with our cactus. So I'm placing a little bit of the green, and then I'm placing a little bit of this gray color here. And under this angle, I'm presenting the nice shadow here. Okay, so you see, wow, that looks really good. The last thing that I'm missing is, you see, I have to clean up my hands, is to make the sun very, very, very bright, right? So I'm going here with yellow, 
and tra ta 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 I have my drawing completed. So the only one thing that is left for those of you who are taking pride in your drawings is to sign it. So you can, the pastels are a little bit too heavy. So I use the marker or you can use the pencil and I will sign it here. Uh, Madame OK. So I will just sign, um, let's see, M, M, E, OK. Here, that's my signature. So it's done. I hope that you will have lots of fun working on this project. Remember, if you don't have pastels, no problem. You can use uh, uh, colored pencils and that's fine too. But you don't have marker, no problem. Just press your pencil then or go a second time with the pencil on your light pencil line and you will be fine. So enjoy the project, have lots of fun and see you. Bye next time. Good.